stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to make these easy and delicious fluffy peanut butter chocolate chip muffins. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am so happy you stopped by. Well, it is the first Tuesday in November, and that means it's time for another pantry collaboration challenge hosted my, by my friend Mary Ellen over at Prepper Potpourri, where myself, along with 11 other channels, attempt to make a recipe using only pantry shelf-stable ingredients. That means no produce, no uh, cheese, nothing from the refrigerator or freezer, just something we would have on our shelves. And today I have a really fun recipe and it has a secret ingredient in it that you would never suspect to be in a muffin. Now I, I showed you a little teaser on my thumbnail, but I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to take off this label. Oh, I really taped it on there. <laughs> Ta-da! The secret ingredient is garbanzo beans. Yes, we are going to be making some fluffy peanut butter chocolate chip muffins made with garbanzo beans. Now these are dairy-free, gluten-free, flour-free, and they are so good. Now when I first saw this recipe on Pinterest, I was like, beans in muffins? Are you kidding me? But they were really, really good. And they are packed with protein. Over seven, gram, seven to eight grams of protein per muffin. So instead of just, you know, having a regular old store-bought muffin with just empty calories, you're at least getting some nutrition with this. And they're super simple to put together. You just throw everything in a blender or a food processor. So you're gonna love them. Now, when you're done watching my video, I want you to head on over to everybody else I'm listing below and watch their wonderful videos. Everyone always is so creative with what they're making. So let's get baking. We're gonna take one can of chickpeas rinsed and drained and place them in a food processor or a blender. We're gonna take three large eggs and we're gonna put one of them in with the chickpeas. Now blend that up for a minute or two until it's pretty smooth. Then go ahead and add in your other two large eggs along with a half a cup of creamy natural peanut butter. Just pour it right in there. And then go ahead and add in a half a cup of pure maple syrup. And then we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder. Put the lid back on and give that a whirl for another minute or two until it's nice and smooth. And we wanna break up all those pieces of bean, of peas, and it'll look like this. Just place it in a bowl. And now we're gonna take some either dark chocolate or um, semi-sweet chocolate chips, a half a cup, and just mix those into the batter. Now I have 12 muffin cups. I'm using the silicone ones, but I am putting some liners in there, and I sprayed it with some cooking spray. Now this is gonna make exactly 12 muffins. We're gonna bake them at 350 for 25 minutes or until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. Now I did put some um, chocolate chips on towards the end. Now stay tuned because I'm gonna give a review of what I thought of these delicious muffins. So let's give these a little taste, shall we? Now I just think, first of all, they're a nice looking muffin. I just love the kind of the way they have the little crackle on the top with the shiny chocolate chips. And I did wanna say, I know in the beginning I said these were dairy free, but you would have to get dairy free chocolate chips in order for the, like, the whole recipe to be dairy free. But because these are just regular dark chocolate chips. But anyway, just wanted to let you know that. And then see how fluffy the inside is. Now, they taste like peanut butter, but they're not too peanut buttery. 
and the dark chocolate just really goes well with the peanut butter. Now, if someone had told me there was garbanzo beans in here, I never ever would know that. Um, it's just a very fluffy, like the recipe title says, muffin. It's not too sweet. Um, and I just feel really good knowing that I'm getting some protein, at least if I'm eating a muffin, and they're so quick to put together. So I hope you guys are gonna give these a try. And please don't forget to visit everybody else in my description box for their recipes. Thank you again to Mary Ellen for putting on this collaboration. And we will see you guys next month for another great recipe. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.